Are attorneys a legal agent or a moral agent? Let's take a look. Many would argue that an attorney must never abandon his or her own moral compass. The fact of the matter is, sometimes that occurs. Historians indicate that this dilemma has been problematic for lawyers since the first ethic codes were written. The following are the types of positions described and defended as contrary acts. The legal agent. One position is that the attorney is no more than a legal agent of the client. The lawyer is neither immoral or moral, but merely a legal tool. A special relationship. A more moderate position is that the loyalty to the client presents a special relationship between client and lawyer, like that between a mother and a child or with a trusted friend. Moral agent. The third position is that the lawyer is a moral agent who must adhere to their own moral code. The client's interests come first only if they do not conflict with the lawyer's morality and ethical code. Some principles to be considered moral are as follows. Treat others as ends, treat clients as others relatively similar, and do not deliberately engage in deception and also be willing to make reasonable sacrifices. Further, do not give money for wrongful purposes, avoid harming others in the process, be loyal to your clients, and make your own moral decisions. The rationale for these principles seems to be an amalgamation of ethical formalism, utilitarianism, and ethics of care in that a lawyer should be concerned when the other side may be victimized or harmed by the actions of one's client. The legal agent position is that it is impossible and unethical to substitute one's own moral code for one's client. Research indicates that the position taken by attorney depends partially on whom they represent. It should be noted that the model rules for attorneys do show glimmers of the moral agent idea, 